good. Uh, I think we had a lot of good moments in preseason, and we're ready to keep getting better in these uh, days leading up to our first game. In terms of what? I don't know. I feel like it's just kind of like a new season. You know, we're not really worried about what happened last year because this is just a new journey, a new path. So uh, we're excited. Sam, every opening night is exciting. It's the start of the new season, but you got the Knicks in town. It's the first game of the NBA season. You're getting the rings, the banner going up. What is your excitement level for that night, and what are you most looking forward to? Yeah, it'll be cool to, you know, I think kind of put a – the cherry on top of last year and then kind of just like put it in the past and worry about what's in front of us for this year. So but definitely going to be a, a cool night, and um, but we want to worry about what's on hand for that night and, and get a W. What do you think of the team? What changes about them and how you guys They're good, man. I mean, they were good last year too, but um, they obviously added a few pieces, traded a few pieces away, and, um, you know, they're – they're good. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Like, I, don't, I haven't seen them play all together yet, so um, it'll be a tough matchup for sure. I feel like we saw some new layers to your game in preseason, going in between a little bit, bringing up the for yourself. What, what do you feel like you were able to add this summer and show off in the preseason? I mean, I feel like some of the stuff I already, like, I've been working on for a while and kind of had in my game. I just, just given the roster and uh, my role on the team, I'm, there's not a lot of opportunities to do that type of th uh, stuff. But in preseason, when you know when you have more opportunity and some guys are sitting out, you can kind of experiment just a little bit and, and see what see what works and see what you feel comfortable with in the game. And um, I was glad to showcase a few new things. So what did you think of Tony retiring yesterday? Did, did you kind of know that was coming? What kind of conversations did you have? I'm sure you kind of talked to UBA people yesterday. Yeah. Uh, I had a feeling it was it was coming, and I didn't I didn't expect it to happen like right now. But I know he had been thinking about it for probably a decent amount of time, and um, you know he had a great career, and he put Virginia on the map in terms of basketball. And um, I'm forever grateful to play for him. How did he help you like, as a player? Man, he helped me reach my goal, which was to get to the NBA, and um, he helped me improve as a player on both sides of the floor. And he was just a great great guy to lean on and someone to talk to whenever. You're, Whenever you need to touch someone, whether it was basketball or just life stuff. So he's a great person, one of the most genuine people in college basketball. All players reached the NBA out of Virginia during his time there. What do you feel like you know you guys did there, or things that kind of helped you with that help you reach that next level? I think it's just like a culmination of the whole staff, the, the athletic training staff, the strength staff. I think everything works so well together, and um, coach has experience of playing in the NBA. Um, our strength coach had experience of working with guys in the NBA and being with the teams and um, I think he just produces really well fundamentally sound players and I think it translates. Jordan was just saying that he said there were times last year when the, he felt like guys wouldn't even pass the ball because they didn't necessarily trust him or whatever and he said he sees it feels a difference this year. What what are you seeing in him over at least like the past month and kind of his growth and development? Yeah he's gotten better just all around. Um, I think that comes with just kind of getting some more game reps and having more confidence and yeah, kind of just getting used to playing with, you know, different guys. And um, he showcased a lot in the preseason, and we're excited to see what he can do in the regular season now. Sam, you were and you get big role and champion and all that. Do you have guys like Jordan, do you have guys that maybe trying to stick on this roster and reach out to you to see how, how did you get to, you know, ascend to this level? Yeah, I mean, I'm always uh, – I'm open ears. I'm, I'm here to listen. I'm here to help whenever they need it. Um, you know, like, like I've, I've talked through like my routine and what I do on a daily basis to try to just something that gets me going every day. That you know, he's young and he's still learning some of that stuff. But I think I've already seen growth from last year in that aspect. Just just getting his body prepped for on the court stuff. I mean, he's so young that he can kind of just wake up and go play, and he'll get to a point one day where he's not able to, and he needs something that he can fall back on and lean on. And, um, I think he's already shown that, you know, his weight room stuff, and then on the court he's just gotten a lot better. What's the mentality like? like you, first round draft picks come in here and they expect certain things. You are getting that call at the end of the draft. You walk into camp. Like, what's that like? Do you feel like you belong? And how do you go from that to where you are now? Um, yeah, it's a it's a weird spot to be in for sure. I mean, I think at first I was just trying to find my footing and. Maybe didn't necessarily felt like I fit right away, but I was going to put my best foot forward and try to show that I 
and prove to myself that I did belong. And I think through time and through all the work I put in, I, I proved that to myself and, and others in the building. So it doesn't always happen right away for a lot of players, even the first round draft picks. Sometimes you have to serve your time in the G League or behind the scenes working really hard and um, just wait for your turn. And um, that's kind of what I had to do. Sam, you and Craig have that pregame routine with the tennis balls and all the work out to you. Baylor was doing that before the preseason game. Baylor talked about sort of the relationship you and Craig and Phil and him working with him. What's your relationship been like with him, especially as he comes in, and especially as maybe his shot's not falling like he wants it to do? Yeah, I mean, I mean, he's for Baylor, it's just like those five games were his first NBA experience. Like, it's hard to really have expectations on anybody in that situation. That's a tough spot to be in. I'm sure for himself, he has high expectations. And i trying to remember my first preseason. I don't think I played all that well. Um, so I keep trying to tell him, just keep staying aggressive, um, keep shooting. And I've been helping him out whenever he has questions and things like that. So, uh, But he's a great player. He's going to do well. And um, I'm excited to see what he can bring to the table this year. Thanks, guys.